Hey guys, today's our topic is how do you create an empty Excel file? Anyone who is a newbie to UiPath, they may be having a question. How can you create an empty Excel file? Okay, so let's see that how you can do it. So there are two different ways I'm going to teach you. First of all, we'll start with an Excel application scope. Just type Excel application scope. And here I'm going to create a because the file I want to create a empty Excel file, right? So let me give it a name as test one dot and write the extension XLSX. Okay, the Excel extension I have written and the name of that Excel file I have written. After that, I am going to use something called write range activity. Okay, and that is also below the Excel you should look at. You should not use the workbook because I am using Excel application scope. Okay, you will have two similar activities. So I am going to use it from the Excel. Done. Now it will create a sheet one which will be blank and it is asking for a data table. So let's create a variable control plus K and say DT one done. And once you create this variable, if you simply run it, it will throw an error. Okay, I will show you that. So if I simply run it, or debug it okay so because I have not declared this variable dt1 this is going to throw an error do you see the object reference not set to one instance of an object the object reference not set to one instance of an object is the error now to rectify this error all you have to do is go to the variable panel and initialize this so for this dt1 data table variable i am going to say new data table okay now after you have initialized the dt1 variable if you try to debug it now you will not see that error and our new excel file will get created so it is running okay it's completed there is no error now if you go to the projects tab now how do you find this test excel file go to the projects tab and try to refresh it do you see the test one dot xlsx file has been created okay so this is one way and if you open it it will be completely blank reason being we have not provided any data okay so this is one way of creating a blank excel file do you see this is completely blank test it is completely blank so let me close it the other the other way to create an excel file by using a workbook activity i can simply use a write range activity okay and here let me create another file called test2 this time dot xlsx your extension of your excel file okay and this one would remain as it is and here I am going to create another variable, let's say dt2. Okay. And the moment you create this data table variable, as I said, you need to initialize it. So let's initialize that new data table. Okay. Now once this is this is created, once this is created, all I need to do is let me run it. So now if you see the project has only test one, let me run it. So this time I am using a write range activity from workbook and the previous example we have done it from the excel application scope that is the two different ways. Okay so the uh, the execution is complete now let's refresh it now you can see the test2 file has been created which is also completely blank you can see it is completely blank so these are the two different ways one can create an empty excel file. Thank you so much guys for such interesting contents to learn every day. Please do subscribe to Xpop channel and please do like all the contents that you are watching from our channel. Thank you guys. Take care. We are going to meet in our next video. Bye bye.